team take. I know he's a listener of the broadcast as well. He's been featured on the Drudge Report, The Blaze, uh, you name it. He's been interviewed by InfoWars in the past as well, which is great. Then he got picked up by The Blaze and Drudge and others. That's what we're here to do. And, and he won first prize in C-SPAN's annual and national student cam documentary competition for his documentary, We the People, Genetically Modified. And it's so exciting that he's going out asking real questions, making documentaries as a teenager, and now asking real questions. This is the model. They, they can shut Alex Jones down, but the genie's out of the bottle, folks. You can go out. You can be a success. You can reach out to people. You can change the world like Andrew. Andrew, thanks for coming on with us. Thanks for having me on, Alex. So uh, we're about to play this clip of what happened with you and Pelosi, but first off, what do you make of the attempted demonization of anybody who's a libertarian or conservative trying to tie us to the latest Joker killer? I think it's absolutely ludicrous. I think it's just a, a false justification for kind of blaming everything on people who, who like me, simply ask a question, try to obtain the truth. And and again, I mean, we've seen it in the past. It's just, like you said, demonization of, of any bit of credibility that we have left. Tell folks about the Pelosi clip. Yeah, so like you kind of alluded to there in the introduction, I was in Washington, D.C. I won a documentary competition called Student Cam that C-SPAN annually hosts. And uh, the top five winners, including myself, were flown to D.C. And the first day we were there, we kind of just toured around D.C. Second day, we had a, a roundtable discussion with C-SPAN that aired eventually later. And then the last day was kind of the, the climactic selling point of having us go to D.C. And that's when we met with Pelosi, and that's when I uh, shot my question to her. Now, there's a backstory that I want you to elaborate on before we play the clip of even trying to then get the footage. Right. Yeah. So when after I had confronted Pelosi that you'll see in a second here, I the, the problem was I recorded it with my phone. I had my phone out. I, I was I was kind of holding it at my side for a couple minutes before I confronted her to to just start recording. And then when I eventually asked her the question, then I held it up and and kind of put it in her face. But the problem was after that, and I only found out afterwards that the, the whole video that I thought I had recorded was eight minutes. And then I found out later that my phone only recorded four minutes and it's not some like like secretive uh, uh, issue that the government's trying to to get the clip or anything or erase it because it was uh, due to memory and my phone's had that issue in the past sure it's like so running out of film Right, exactly. So then I contacted C-SPAN when I got back home asking them if I could have the footage and because they had a cameraman there. Uh, and I knew since my footage was essentially corrupt, I, I just used theirs. So I emailed C-SPAN. And mind you, right after we walk out of the Capitol, one of C-SPAN's employees, they asked, you know, I saw you filming that. Were you planning on posting that on YouTube, curiously enough? And I thought I had the whole uh, footage at the time on my phone. So I kind of just said, you know, why does it matter? What difference does it make as uh, Hillary Clinton would have it? And so then I eventually emailed C-SPAN, like I said, when I got home, asking if I could have the clip. And even though I emailed a different individual, the person who confronted me, the C-SPAN employee who, who asked me if I was going to post it on YouTube, they responded to that email, even though, like I said, I didn't send that to them. And they essentially said, well, per our agreement with Pelosi's office, we can't give you this footage. So I found that pretty funny. You know, C-SPAN touts themselves to be objective and unbiased, yet they won't give me this hard-hitting question. But I do have to say it's not C-SPAN fault or anything because C-SPAN's founder, Brian Lamb, and my father and I actually went back to C-SPAN before we went back home. He essentially, you know, encouraged me and congratulated me saying that I was engaging in real journalism. So I think that really speaks volumes. But then eventually after a long uh, war waged via email with C-SPAN and one of their employees, I eventually got back the footage. But I had to essentially call them out saying, you know, the whole basis of this contest I was a part of, Student Cam, was to be objective, be unbiased, be neutral, get both sides of the story, and not like they were essentially trying to do censor one side that, that doesn't fit the agenda. Well, Mr. Demeter, I want to come back and do one more segment, then we're going to the phone lines here. But I, I am a fan of original C-SPAN. Brian Lamb did an amazing trailblazing job. And so it shows the culture change. He's no longer, from what I know, fully running it. And so there you have the founder commending you. But then now you've got the, the establishment types infiltrating the bureaucracy, trying to keep you from showing 
a simple question where she bumbles around. I mean, they cannot handle reality. We're going to play the clip they don't want you to see straight ahead with our guests and then go right to your call. Stay with us. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean, really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste, and safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a glue free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies, many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in unlocking Online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Alex Jones here back live. Andrew Deminer, successful young journalist, just by act, asking real questions, has been all over Fox News, all, of, all over other major networks, all over the blaze with Glenn Beck. And of course, we've interviewed him for a while, and I think, uh, you know, helped him get his word out, but his own talent and his own research and his own commitment is why he's become successful. And I use this as an example to everyone out there of what you can do. But you're not trying to become a famous media personality. You're not trying to 
be successful to be a celebrity. You want to become well known as a symbol of the fact that you've been successful promoting the ideas of liberty. And then building your own platform to self-sustain. Because in the Bill Clinton memos, where they coined the term conspiracy theorist in modern parlance, they say we will apply this to anything unorthodox to control all narratives because we don't want the public having anything but state-run media. It's a 30-something page memo. It's several hundred pages long, but World Net Daily only got 30-something pages. Now they have the whole document. It's coming out soon. But it's so damaging that they're having to look with lawyers to see about if they can even release it. It's that bad. I guess they got the rest of it leaked to them out of the Bill Clinton library. I guess they've got moles in there. But my point is, is that they're threatened by this, and they're threatened by Andrew. So I want to play this clip right now and then get your uh, take on it and ask where you're going from here. But here he is just asking Pelosi a real question, something that, the, again, the extinct media won't do. They've extincted themselves. Here it is. Why do you support the NSA's illegal and ubiquitous uh, data collection? Well, I, I do not. I have questions about the metadata collection that they were uh, collecting, unless they had a reason to do so. Uh, so I found I was one. From, I, did, I didn't support. I didn't support Amash that resolution. I didn't think that was the appropriate resolution. Uh, but I do think that the burden is on the the uh, department, and I have fought them for years. On the community, fought them for years on the wide swath that they have put out there. You did vote for a bill to continue funding for the NSA, though. Yeah, of course. I don't think we should not fund the National Security Agency. No, they do many, is many it, things. Isn't the NSA a clear Thank violation you. of the Fourth Amendment? No, no. Some of what they should, what they do should be subjected to scrutiny in some of the things, but they perform many other functions as well, and uh, we hold them to a high order. And I've had my biggest fights here than in the intelligence community with the director of the NSA, uh, Hayden, when he was the director, I don't think he was on the level with us. But that doesn't mean that there aren't other things that are there uh, that, are, um, that are good things uh, that, are, that are necessary for us to have. But from 9-11 on, the Bush administration went too far on all of these things. And, and uh, so we have the correspondence back and forth. She makes it political. But to demonstrate that they were just doing the wrong thing. Now, again, for me, Andrew, the issue is they tried to keep that video from getting out because they don't even want to even know that she voted for it. And I love the lawyer speak there where she's saying, uh, oh, well, they do a lot of things and, and, you know, we need them to do it within a system. So she says, we need to be able to spy on you without warrants just in a system. This is a huge power grab we're witnessing. Yeah, I think it's really funny. Uh, my favorite part of that whole video, that whole confrontation, is just the fact that she diffuses all responsibility to the Bush administration, even though I'm not even for Bush, I'm a libertarian, but the fact that he was in office six years ago. And the funny thing is, too, Bush signed into law post 9-11 the Patriot Act, which was essentially the same thing that the NSA is now, except the NSA is much larger in scope. Oh, he's gone way beyond so uh, Bush, who I didn't defend as well. I attacked it. And the Democrats were all part of that. Exactly. I mean, it's like if we get a Republican blue blood in, they'll be blaming Obama for shutting down our power plants, but not reopening them. I mean, it's always past the buck, basically. But yeah, it's just so funny how she's saying, well, I, di I didn't support what Bush was doing. He's gone too far. Yet what she supports now under the Obama administration, a fellow Democrat, you know, now she supports that. So it's, it's completely hypocritical. And I also find it funny how she's supposedly a representative to the American people, yet she can't even explain why she voted for something, uh, supposedly what the American people are uh, in support of. So the fact that she can't even explain it, let alone to a group of teenagers, I find very disconcerting. And it shows that she's never asked real questions until you come along and point out the emperor's butt naked. Uh, in closing, uh, what's coming next for you, Andrew? You know, I'm just keeping the doors open. I'm going to see what uh, comes next. Leanne told me to uh, tell you to hire me, but, you know, I, I just like getting out there, getting uh, my message across. And uh, it's important to say also that this video isn't about promoting myself. It's about uh, not about me or not even about Pelosi, but just exposing the fact that politicians can be very hypocritical. But it's also important to say, I agree, but you become successful by asking real questions. So you also win while doing the right thing. We're on the march.